Yes! It's official! I have everyone's attention, please. I have a major announcement. Heath, none of us care if you got a new limited edition Gallucci whatever, so just spare us from having to hear about it. That's not what I was going to say, Abby! This announcement is even better. I'm moving! Wait, what? Are you for real? Does this mean we'll finally get to live a Heath-free life? Somebody pinch me, I think I'm dreaming. Heath, what do you mean you're moving? We haven't even lived in this house very long. Well, I've never liked living with you losers anyway, and I figured it was about time I finally got my own place. I was just waiting for the right property to come along, and I found it. I'll be moving to the cutest little mansion over in Beverly Hills. It's got everything I can need. A movie theater, a personal spa, three different indoor pools. It's literally the perfect home for a diva like me. Um, that seems a little bit excessive. Weren't you bankrupt like a few months ago? Um, it is none of your business how I spend my money. Now I need to go finish packing so I can move into my dream home. That guy is a disaster, but it's like a train wreck. I just can't look away. Wow, so you're serious about this whole moving out thing. Yes, I'm serious about it, duh. Have you really thought this through though? Why do you need to move into a giant mansion when it's just you living there? That just seems so unnecessary. Why do you care so much? I'm Heath Burns, it's not like I'm gonna move into a condo. A mansion is more my taste. Heath, the last time you spent all your money on designer fashions, you became homeless, and I'd rather not deal with that again. It's ridiculous to move into a mansion, and as much as you may deny it, we know you don't have that kind of money. You're gonna go broke again, dude. How dare you even suggest such a thing? And I don't need you speculating about how much money I have. I can guarantee you I am doing just fine. If I want to move into a multi-million dollar mansion, I will move into a multi-million dollar mansion, and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Fine, I'm done trying to help you. Just remember that we warned you. Ugh. Hey Heath, so I hear you're moving out. Yup, let me guess, you're here to lecture me too? No, no, I'm just a little concerned for you since you're moving into such an expensive place. Abby and Raven were telling me it has three pools? Three indoor pools, yes. That does not include the outdoor infinity pool and the Olympic sized pool in the home gym. And for the last time, I don't know why you guys are so worried about me. I'm rich, remember? Oh, of course, yeah. I just wanted to make sure you know what you're getting into. I mean, you've at least budgeted for property taxes and home insurance, right? No, I don't see why that matters. Well, have you saved up for any repairs you might need to make to the property? No. Um, do you have at least a thousand dollars in your bank account? Nope. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm sure you at least- Frankie, Frankie, I think that's enough. I just want to make sure Heath is prepared for what it takes to be a homeowner. Well, I think we should be happy for Heath. Ahem! <clears throat> Frankie, Heath is finally moving out and becoming independent. Aren't you excited for him? It's about time I get some support over here! Everyone's being so negative about my move. I agree, Heath. I, for one, can't wait for you to be gone for good. Come on, Frankie. No more talk about financial responsibility. You're putting me to sleep. But, but I'm just... Don't worry, Heath. You have my full support. Now pack those bags. Thanks, Abby. I will. I just don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. I'm worried he's making a huge mistake. Yeah, you're right. Heath has a lot of bad ideas, but this is by far his worst one. What's going on over here? It looks like you guys are having some sort of secret meeting. We're just talking about how big of a mistake it is for Heath to go out and buy an expensive mansion. What's gotten into you guys? We're finally about to get rid of Heath and you guys are trying to stop him from moving out? Look, I want Heath gone just as much as the next guy, but this isn't the way to get him to leave. He's getting himself into some serious trouble. We're worried that he's gonna go bankrupt again, and if that happens, we'll just have to clean up his mess. After all, we're his friends and we need to look after him. Uh, I wouldn't say we're his friends, but yeah. Why do you guys even care if Heath goes bankrupt? I for one would love to see him homeless again, that was hilarious. If he wants to recklessly spend all his money, I say we let him. The thing is, if that happens, we're gonna be stuck with him once he's broke. Either way, we have to deal with his mistakes, so it's better if we just convince him not to buy that mansion. 
Fine! Ugh, you guys are such good people. It disgusts me. Hey, Heath. Where are you off to? I'm headed to the mall. I have a 20,000 square foot house to furnish and I need some new decor. What if we came with you? Ugh, no! Hey, remember, we don't want to deal with a bankrupt Heath. Ugh, yes, Heath. Why don't we come with you to the mall? Uh, I guess you losers can come with me as long as your bad taste doesn't kill my vibes. Now let's go. I have a lot of stuff to buy. Ugh, you guys really couldn't have waited for me? You know I'm banned from this mall. I had to slip into my disguise. You're still banned here? Why don't you just go to another mall instead of putting on ridiculous costumes to go shopping? I would do that if I could, Cerise, but I'm banned from all the malls within a 50 mile radius. Don't be so insensitive. Now I am going to look for some furniture. I need to find a lot of unique pieces for my new house. My God, he is the worst. Ooh, I love this sofa, very chic. And it's comfortable too. This would look great in my fourth living room. Ooh, but this one would go so well with the color scheme in the upstairs guest room walk-in closet. Wait, but this one is stunning as well! I could put it in one of my indoor pool rooms. The blue would totally complement the sparkling pool water. Ugh, I can't decide. You know what? I'll just buy all three. I have a lot of rooms to furnish after all. Three different sofas? I'm sure you don't need all of those. Ugh, where is an employee? Can I get some help over here? Yes, sir. What can I help you with today? I want to buy all three of those sofas over there. Of course. If you have a credit card with you, I can go ahead and ring those up. Here. I'll be right back with that for you. Ugh, I am so indecisive. Luckily, when you have a mansion to furnish, you don't have to decide. You can just buy every piece of furniture you like. Yeah, well maybe you should try to limit what you buy instead of just getting everything you see. Hey, we should go thrift shopping after this. You can normally find used furniture there for much cheaper. It's a steal. Used furniture? Blech! I'd rather live in a house with no furniture. Why did you nerds even come with me if all you're gonna do is tell me how to spend my money? We're worried about you going broke again, Heath. You buy new designer clothes every other day, you've bought and crashed multiple expensive cars, and now you're moving into a mansion? There's no way you're gonna be able to afford that. By the way, this was all their idea. I, for one, would love to see you crash and burn. Are you serious? You guys, I'm not gonna go broke. Excuse me, sir, your card was declined. I'll need another form of payment to complete your purchase. Ugh, that's annoying. Luckily, I have 15 other credit cards here. Now I'm gonna need you guys to mind your own business about what I buy for my house. Well, I'm headed to the Gallucci store. I could use a few new purses. He is hopeless. Welp, we tried. All right, everyone, I am out. Good riddance, Heath. I hope you stay gone this time. I don't want to get my hopes up and then have you move back in with us in a week. I guess this is goodbye, Heath. I can't believe you're really moving out. I'm gonna miss you. Um, yeah, I can't say the same for you. Welp, bye. Wait, Heath, when are we gonna get to see your new place? Ugh, of course you peasants would invite yourselves over. I guess you can come over after I'm done moving all my stuff in. You just won't be able to stay longer or you'll lower the property value. I'll call you. Yay, I can't wait. See ya then, Heath. <laughs> I call turning Heath's old room into a bar.